yeah, as you can see right there, I finally completed all of Takeda's combo challenges in Mortal Kombat 1. Some of them were quite a doozy, so I'm here today to help you get through them and give you my tips and tricks on how I got through these challenges, and it can just help you complete them yourself. So subscribe here for more Mortal Kombat and fighting game content, and let's get into these challenges. We're gonna start from number one and just go through them all. A lot of you guys were like, you know, three is super hard, five is super hard, seven. This one, I don't know how to explain it. It's just one, two, back, four, two. That's just pretty basic. I don't know any tips on that one. I'm sure you guys can do that. I'm sure you can do it, right? If you can't, DM me on Twitter, we'll talk. I'm just gonna do this one and see if I have any tips while I do it. This one doesn't really say to do it on the down back four. When you enhance it, if you don't hold towards you to do the close version, you'll probably still hit them, but if not, you'll go over them. So make sure on the down back four enhance, you hold towards yourself and then immediately jump afterwards to do the air combo. Like I hold up for like a jumping as soon as I possibly can. So that way, as soon as he recovers, he jumps. Okay, this one was really tight on the timing because you have to call his sectors like uppercut as soon as possible. And if you just spam the, the back cameo, it's not gonna hit. You have to time it so right. Let's try it. Yeah, see, even right there, it's just, you, you can't spam the cameo button for some reason. You gotta call in Sector at a very specific time. So let's hit it, and I'll tell you where I hit it. And then the tip after that is as soon as you see Sector actually connect the uppercut, back forward two. In fact, you might wanna do back forward two as soon as you can, even with Sector doing the uppercut, because you wanna be able to land that back forward two as they fall from the uppercut. So let's just do the whole thing. That timing on that Sector is rough. I, oh. See right there, if you don't call the back forward two soon enough, you'll miss even that. So you gotta land the uppercut at a very specific time and then immediately call in your back forward two. I know this all might seem self-explanatory with what you see on screen, but it is just about the timing. So right there, as soon as I saw Sector connect the uppercut, I did my back forward two. You can't wait too long on that, otherwise you're gonna miss it. Okay, this one looks like a lot, but it's actually not. You just jump in, do two one when you land, and then you're gonna be doing down forward four. This is his Rekka move. Rekka is just a special move you can use three times in a row, and each version of the move has their own properties. But for this one, you're gonna do all three of them, and on the last one, you're gonna enhance it. You're not gonna jump. Instead, you're just gonna do back two one, and then back forward three. So the end's gonna look like this. And that is a tip I have for you guys when doing these combo trials. Don't be afraid to like break them up into pieces and do them all separately and then slowly put them together. So that way when you get to the end of the combo, you go, okay, this is gonna have it end like this. And the beginning is like this. Now all I gotta do is the wreck apart. Okay, I can do them all separately. Let's put them together. Jump in, two, one, down, four, four, down, four, four, enhance it. There we go. It's a matter of doing them all separately and again, just piece them together, just like a puzzle. Okay, this one caught a lot of people off guard. You gotta do forward one as like an anti-air and then do forward one again, followed by two. So you do forward one as an anti-air, forward one, two. But you see there, they drop pretty fast. So you gotta hit Scorpion at a specific height when he's jumping to be able to land your second part of the forward one, two. See that? So you can hit it. You gotta hit Scorpion, not at the apex of the jump, but you can't hit him too low either. As soon as they land, you're gonna be doing back two one again to bounce them and then back and then, and then actually forward cameo, not back here, forward cameo, which is uh, sector's fire. So let's do anti-air, forward one, two, back, enhance it, back two, one, forward cameo. So the biggest tip I have for that one is just hitting Scorpion on his way down. I wouldn't say he's super high, but pretty high up. You might not think that forward one's gonna actually connect, but it does. You wanna hit him sooner rather than later. Takeda will recover from doing forward one as an anti-air fast enough for you to do forward one again before Scorpion lands on the ground. You will connect, even though they look like Scorpion's gonna hit the ground, you're gonna hit him with forward one before he does. You'll also connect the two part and then just enhance back forward two, finish it from there. Okay, number six, let's just go ahead and run through this real quick. So this one, using your back forward three and holding up for the combo, jumping, hitting two, enhancing the down back two in the air, doing two one in the air, and then down back four in the air. So again, you kind of want to break all of this down as much as you can, right? So I say we just jump, do down back two, enhance, two one, and then down back four. So that way we know we can at least land the last half of this combo. Let's just do that. Uh, down back two, enhance, two one, down back circle. Do it again. Two one, down back circle. Okay, so we can land that part. So now all we gotta do is land the two, one, back, four, three, up, jump, hit him, and then do what we just did. So let's make sure we can land that first half first. 
Okay, there's the two in the air. We hit it. Now all I gotta do is put those two halves together. We got the full combo. There we go. Man, breaking it up like that in halves makes it so much easier. You know, this one's a bit trickier because you have to do back, forward, three, enhance in the air to extend the air combo to one in the air and then down, back, four again. This part can be a bit tricky because you can't really break it up in halves here because you're only starting off with this, with three. Then you're doing back, forward, two, enhance, jumping, doing this. So I would say practice the last half by starting off with this. Your enhanced back forward too, but the problem is you're only doing one hit before that anyways. This one is just hard because the back forward three enhance in the air. You're doing two enhances with the first back forward two enhance, jumping, hitting two, back forward three enhance, two one down back four. The two one down back four we did in the last combo. So that should feel pretty familiar with what you're doing here. You just gotta land two in the air, back forward three enhance first. So you're only doing a couple things before the last half you did last combo. Let's just put it all together. Now doing that, the tip I have is you can directionally influence your back forward three in the air to go forward or stay close to you. You want to hold forward as much as you can gain that momentum towards your opponent to then land the two one afterwards if you just do back forward three you will probably hit it but it makes it easier to hold forward after doing it so let's just try it again see what i'm saying we were too far away to hit that two we gotta hold forward A big tip with these combos, guys, is literally take it one step at a time. Like, add one thing for each time you try it. So right here, let's just do this, and then this. That's it. Then jump in two. Okay, we did a pretty good portion of that. Now, rather than trying to focus on adding the rest, just add one. Just add one more. Let's just try adding one more, right? The back four, three hands. Okay, we did all that. Now you go from there and add one more portion of the combo each single time. This is the one that stumped me up, I think, the most before I finally got it. And the reason why is the beginning half here involving Sector is rough to get down. You're trying, it says to do cameo back to one cameo, but the inputs don't actually allow you to do the double rocket. Cause that's what this is trying to do. It's trying to do the double rocket the sector has. Stunning your opponent enough, allowing you to do down back one holding forward and then going in with a back two one and down forward one. Like the stun, the double rocket gives you stun, gives you enough stun anyways to do all that. And continuing the combo with back two one down forward one. Jumping one one back forward three, hitting two and then down back to landing fatal blow. So again, this is one of those things where you want to break it up as much as you possibly can. So before we do the sector part, because I have a tip on that, let's just do the, let's just try it. Let's just do down back one, having that star set up. Back to one, down four to one, jumping. We got pretty far there. We want to do two in the air, then down back to enhance. Bringing our opponent upwards, we land fatal blow. Let's just try it again. Just that last half here. You gotta be fast on that two, down back two enhanced. Let's just do it again. Because you can't try to focus on that first half. The first half is kind of hard by itself. We gotta do two different halves and then we'll throw them together. There we go, that last half, we're good. Now for the first part of this combo, the inputs are weird. You have to do cameo back to cameo one. For some reason, that'll read double cameo and still read your back to one as a combo string itself. So cameo back to one, cameo one. It's weird, I know, it's super weird. And you gotta do it fast too. So cameo back to one, cameo. Even then I'm missing it. Cameo back to one, cameo one. There we go throw down the star and continue the combo of half you just did a minute ago. It's super weird timing. It's super weird. They make you do cameo back to cameo, then one, but then it reads it as a double cameo and reads your combo string as back to one still, even though you inputted it in like different sections. It's wild, but that's just how it works. That's just the way I've found to do it most consistent. So cameo back to cameo one. And as soon as you do the back one to like finish your back two one combo, you're doing your down back one to do the star and holding it. So that way, essentially it looks like this. And so when the double rockets hit, you can just go right into the back two one and continue the combo from there. Really weird, but let's do it all together.
And we missed the fatal blow. God damn it. Let's do it again. You gotta do that fatal blow as soon as you land. There we go. Jeez. Yeah, that one with the timing on the cameo in the beginning. Doing back to one down back one in the beginning to make it a full combo and then into a special. Do you have time to do back to one and then launch your opponent with down forward one and exploding that smart star? That is rough to get down. I'm not gonna lie to you. I hope that me going through and explaining my thought process helped you, but that one is rough. Yeah. Now, this last one, it seems scary. I found this one actually easier than the previous one. Because Sajinko, you just gotta use Sajinko and then charge him as you go in with the down back one. So you're basically hitting with the low back cameo, down back cameo, and holding up to do a different move. Let's just, again, let's just do all of that by itself. Okay, so we see we hit the low there. We throw a, we throw a smart star, charge to Jinko, jump in with a two, down forward one to explode that smart star, jump up one, let them float down, we land one, two, back forward two. Back to down back cameo again, aerial down back two. I know that seems very confusing. So again, let's break it up. Back three, back cameo, down back cameo, hold up. Smart star, hold up. Call to Jinko, jump two. We have that time to jump in and hit that before anything else. It's just a matter of doing that down back one as soon as possible. Call to Jinko jumping in. That can seem like a lot. But the jump in combo by itself is not is not terrible. So if you want to start somewhere, start with that down back one, the smart star. Uh, have Shijinko ready and then jump in two and then one down four to one. Start there. Jump in with the two, hit with the three, then down four to one to explode the smart star. Let's get the smart star out, I guess. So there's that jump up one okay let's do let's just add one more thing ready the smart star jump in two three down four to one two okay once you have that last half down do the first half now so again back back yeah me up hold up call the smart star you gotta hold up on the smart star to make it very far so it actually lands later that's kind of the hardest part from that first part but we can do it let's just throw it all together now Right here, I was too slow, but that's where you would throw the smart star. Throw it very far. Call Shijinko. Jump in two, three. Okay. It's the timing on the smart star you got to throw after Shijinko holds him in place that just takes a minute. Or it takes time to really get that timing down. Oh man, yeah, breaking that up helps a ton because of all the things you gotta do with Shijinko, calling in a smart star. Get used to all those different pieces, feel comfortable with those pieces, and then just add them slowly together. I know it's easier said than done, but the best way and the best tips that I have for you is break it up and just add them slowly over time. Takeda's an absolute monster, but man, he requires some tight timing on a lot of stuff. I hope this helped you with Takeda's trials, and if it didn't, hopefully you enjoyed watching me complete them. If either one of those happen, give this video a thumbs up. Subscribe here for more Mortal Kombat and fighting game content. Take it once a bit of time and go ahead and click into these videos next for more Mortal Kombat news, guides, reactions, and more.